some uh, big, exciting news this week. So what happened this week? Well, a couple emails from Vance Aircraft. Yeah, it all started off, uh, God, what day was it? Wednesday? We got an email from Vans saying they needed our full payment for a fuselage kit. I thought, interesting. We're still waiting to know when our tail kit <coughs> is going to ship. We haven't even put a deposit down on that fuselage kit yet. No. So, okay. so what did that make you, what were you thinking when we got that email? Um, I was hoping that they didn't forget that we haven't received our tail kit yet. So I called Vans on Fridays when I finally got a hold of them. Um, of course, we're trying to plan financially to pay for all this money, and we're not quite really ready to separate ourselves from a big chunk of change. That's happening here in a few days uh, or a week or two when our South Austin house goes on the market. And um, you know that's selling our old house that's been uh, rented for the last couple or the last year is how we're funding buying this kit that we're going to build. So we haven't sold the house yet, so we're not really ready to pay this money. So I get a hold of Vans on Friday, and I ask them a couple questions. One, why the fuselage kit, not the tail kit? The answer they gave me is they have really focused on shifting their production into specific kits. And they, over the past period of time, they've ramped up production on the RV-14 wing kits, and fuselage kits. So that answers why the fuselage kit is now ready. They have built <clears throat> plenty of kits and they're ready to ship them out. Uh, one of their most recent videos, they've kind of indicated some of their warehouse issues. You know, they don't have so much space to store all this stuff. So uh, it's time to ship it out. So we're going to take the fuselage kit. That's the short story. So we moved. Yeah, I mean, we asked them, we're like, okay do we start with the fuse and they're like yeah build on build on so we're ramping up to get build, building here in the next uh I, week or two yeah we'll find out maybe in the next couple days uh they just got our money on friday uh they're gonna assign us a crating date and then we'll figure out the freight and when we're gonna get it i'm fingers crossed two to three weeks maybe a month on the, at the most we'll have a kit here ready to start building so then the question comes, the tail kit. So they, although the person I talked to did not know exactly what kits they're gonna ramp up on next, they do believe the tail kit will be included in one of the near future runs. So I asked the question, it's like, well, timing wise, what are we looking at? Um, and it's like, well, we really don't know, just the short answer. So I asked, are we talking a year? <clears throat> months or weeks and she's oh no well, well it'll be probably a month or two is when they'll be looking for getting us the, the kit so the real question is do we go all in on the fuselage kit assuming the tail kit will come shortly afterwards so we'll have two kits sitting here um, or do we get started on the fuselage kit put that aside and get going on the tail kit uh, right now, the plan is to get going on the fuselage kit. I kind of like that because it gives us something we can sit in and make airplane noise sooner. <laughs> also gets us closer to the spot where I can start playing with avionics sooner, work on the tail kit. Uh, we still have an estimated date of uh, first quarter 2023 to have our quick build wings here for the RV-14. And they asked for they money did. for the wings too in yeah. the email. They did want the 25% deposit. So when we started this, all I put down was a 25% deposit on the tail okay, kit, okay. <laughs> waiting for that to be ready and shipped to us for us to get started. Then I was gonna start putting deposits down so we can start planning when the rest of the kits were gonna show up. Um, well, all, all plans- Out the window. Out the window, gone. Completely gone. <laughs> so, uh, we're shifting to a mode of we'll take whatever kits we can get, get them here, and we'll figure it out once they're here. I'd rather us wait on the kits than do anything else. So, um, you know, us sit on the kits and us wait to open up the crate than us do anything else. Um, storage, you know, we, we, we set up, you know, shelves and storage, we'll set up more. Our shop is a work in progress. Um, one of the 
purchases we're looking forward to in the near future is a new storage shed, which will empty out more of our garage and make it uh, available. We've got a three-car garage here, lots of space. We're just not using it smartly yet. Yeah, but it's only like mostly in one slot over there. So we have two cars with available to work in right now. Yep, so plenty of room. We're getting started. Um, we've got, <coughs> we've built our practice, practice toolkit. Practice kit number one. We are in progress on practice kit number two. Practice kit number two, where we have, all we have left to do is kind of finish it up. This will look like an airplane wing at some point, probably doing this completely yes. backwards at this point, but that will look like an airplane wing here shortly after we drive some rivets and bend some metal. Uh, as you can see, we are experimenting with priming to see what priming is all about in this kit. Uh, still haven't decided our priming strategy in the full kit, but we're going to be making the decision here pretty soon. Real quick. Uh, this Thanks. is done with the, the rattle can. Um, uh, from Home Depot, and to be honest, I think that is a pretty good path. Uh, it's coming, well. coming out nice, so um, got some more tools showing up here shortly. And I mean, we're ready to build. It's time to build. What are we waiting for? Uh, we're waiting for a truck to show up and oh. figure out how to. Oh get. yeah, 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 yeah. Can't wait to see it come down this uh, driveway. We're gonna oh. have that, the cameras rolling when uh, that, that that arrives. That will be interesting. So, well, this is Ken and Melissa Viard from 14 Victor Echo. Looking forward to getting going.